it is Saturday and I have just come back from doing some shopping in Birmingham so I thought I'd show you what I bought and I didn't really buy much so it's kind of going to be like a mini haul plus what I originally was going to film but yeah I will show you what I bought and then I will get on to my top 10 top 10 favourite things from my holiday. The One of the first places that I went to was New Look and so I saw this and immediately fell in love with the colour of it because I really like quite like pinks and nudie pinks and mauvey colours at the moment but it is just a plain jumper, quite thin material, quite boxy to be honest but I thought it looked really nice with a pair of bright blue jeans or black jeans and trainers and yeah and originally I wanted I saw Manny of of YouTube Manny MU MUI yeah and he wore that Puma Puma jumper and I was like oh my god that that colour like I need that but then I was like mmm no it's not it's a bit expensive so and this was cheaper than that one so I got that one and then I went to where's this from forever 21 and I said hang on I'm just to sit, sit down. that's better I think I look a bit yellow mm, natural lighting no we'll leave, we'll leave that um I went to Forever 21 and like I said in my 50 facts about Maytag which I will link down below, um, I like Disney. I am not like a Disney fanatic person even though I have got every single one of the Seven Dwarf uh, toy things mm. and I have a Teddy of Pascal which they didn't lose my suitcase, oh yeah update. Uh, we had a call oh yeah this is from if you haven't seen my uh, vlog of my holiday I will also link that down below but spoiler alert at the end of the holiday when we came back when we were um, back in Southampton um, they lost mine my sister's and my brother's suitcases oh pardon me and I was like Oh no, I've got like clothes and perfume and all this stuff in it. And I was like, what am I gonna do? And Pascal was in there. So I have a Teddy Pascal, but I am in that now. But yeah, um, so I like Disney. It's got my favourite Disney character on it, which is Goofy, look at that. And it's just a kind of short-ish top with the three characters. I actually think no, Pluto's not one of my favourite ones, but don't all these. Um, yeah, again, jeans, converse with it, and a black bomber jacket, which is probably what I'll wear. Oh, for another also from Forever 21, I got these pyjamas, and I thought I really, really liked the top. I don't know if I'm going to like the shorts of them or not, because they came as like a set, but it'll, I'll, I'll work with it. These are the little shorts they are blue and got a little bit of pants oh yeah and they're stretchy so they should be good for me chunky thighs but it was all about the top for me and it was just this is so me so me and it is a grey um what's it vest grey vest i was gonna say what's that top of those little sleeves a vest um, and it says pies and lattes not pilates really it's just it's, oh, I loved it so much I might actually even consider wearing this like when I go out and then I also went to H&M and um, ow, I like slogan tops a lot as you can see I am wearing one and the majority of these have either got slogans or pictures on them. 
so I and I thought I know H&M do cheap ones and I saw this top um, hanging right and right at the top and I just about reach it and I brought it down and I was like do I really need this I, was like, I can't put it back up now I'm going to have to buy it so I bought it and again it is black and white no surprise there but it says on it you you are your own beautiful and I thought that was really cute and again jeans converse or adidas shoes or whatever and maybe like a you could double denim it up or leather jacket or bomber jacket or some kind of jacket or not even a jacket if you don't want to i mean it's summer here but it's it's sunny today and quite warm and we had a wasp come in the car and it got stuck so that was a bit <sighs> so the one thing i don't like about summer as well bees and wasps bees not so much but i just don't like the noise no Anyway, but then the last thing that I bought was another top from uh, H&M and again, it's a very me top. I, I liked, the, again, like the colour of it and the speckles on it and it just says burgers and fries and it is a very similar colour to the jumper that I got from, hey look, so as you can see there is a recurring theme, it was either black and white or mauvey pink that is my little haul that i got from shopping today um if i can i'm gonna list things in the down bar but if i can't sorry you're gonna have to go and try and find it yourself but i got all these from in birmingham the ballroom so hopefully they should still have them my original video was going like I said to be my top 10 favourite things um, that I either took on holiday and used a lot or bought on well no I didn't really buy any of this on holiday I took it was for holiday and really enjoyed it a lot and used them a lot so let's get cracking um, the first one is a lip balm now I didn't wear lipstick every day that's just there's no point. To be honest, I just went makeup free every day because it was like, mm, I kind of want to get a tan on my face. At the same time, I don't, so I just put, I didn't really wear any makeup in the day, but I did at the night, as you will see in the video. But the only kind of makeup, makeup I wore was this. It's the Nivea Fruity Shine Peach Lip Balm. Oh my God. It smells like those when you used to go and get picnics, or you can still do, I don't know if they still do them, like fizzy, um, but they weren't fizzy, they were just sugar coated uh, peach sweets, it smells like that. It is just so good. I will put it on now, but I have lipstick on now. I have Max Angel and Mac Sword Liner, but it's probably come off now because of my drink. But yeah, every day and I haven't really used as you can see there's still still all that but when it runs out I will be I will be getting them all. Now the next one is a lifesaver like mm, I I bought this quite a while ago and didn't really use I used it for a bit and then I was out in the tour I just really do anything. But I thought you never know. You're gonna you might use it, you might not. And it's not that heavy so it didn't really matter even though we didn't have a weight limit. On holiday so um but this honestly along with another thing that i'm going to show you was like i said a lifesaver because when i wake up in the morning i have really puffy eyes and it just it's no no and this is the simple kind eyes revitalizing eye roll on and mm, can't, oh my god first off it smells good it smells like It's really weird, but it smells like makeup pipes, like that kind of freshy. I can't. Oh, is that a spider? No, it's a feather. <sighs> Panic then. Um, 
but yeah it's just, it smells very kind of like uplifting and awakens your senses and stuff and it also has i don't know if you can see there at the top okay don't squeeze it don't squeeze it but it's got like a little rollable thing on the top and that is metal so it is uh cold so you just rub it and well you roll the ball under your eye and then leave it for like five minutes and it just settles in your skin and makes you feel very like energized and awake well it did for me along with the other thing that i'm going to talk about which is black coffee like this and then black coffee and i am awake for at least a good five or six hours like even if it was like a six o'clock start in the morning which i absolutely hated but like like i said black coffee i wasn't really sure what make it was it was just kind of like a machine you just push the button and the black coffee comes out and then i had two sweeteners with it and then i was like raring to go i was, I was buzzing buzzing the next thing are a pair of shoes and on the now on the on the night um it was our chance to kind of dress up and make ourselves look fabulous so i like to wear heels i don't really wear heels when i go on a night out because one, I don't really want to get them dirty and scuffed, even though I did wear these on a night out once and we were walking for a very long time and I eventually couldn't stand them so I just took them off. But other than that, well, I still was on holiday, I didn't take them off once and, well, I put them on when I got in the room, well, no, when I left the room I put them on and then when we got back to the room I took them off, I didn't take them off once whilst we were sitting there and eating or walking to or from the restaurant, so that's good. I think. I'm good in heels for like a short amount of time and then after that I kind of start to walk like a, a bit like a newborn giraffe but well. anyway um, I wore these the majority of the nights and um, they are a pair of black wedges and story with this these these shoes right I bought some barely their sandal ones that have just got the strap one strap by the toes from misguided and they were my favorite like cheap shoes the bottom bit had kind of like a, a rubber jagged bit like kind of went like that so they didn't slip on any material which was oh, and they had a really thin heel and that was not the holiday just the holiday after that no before that sorry the holiday before that and I wore them for about four or five nights in a row because they just went with everything because they were black and I was trying them on with an outfit walking around the room and then just as I was about to sit down on the bed and take them off the heel broke and of course I took floods of tears and I was just like I'm going to have to get a new pair for them I was like well what, what's the point of getting a new pair if those ones are broke but then my sister luckily I bought some of like she bought more than one pair of shoes whereas I only bought uh, well, two pairs of shoes and I only bought the one but the other one was just like oh, I don't really want to wear them so we had to share shoes until I think we were somewhere in Spain I'm gonna say I like Spain a lot um but we no I, I don't know where we were but we went to this kind of marketplace and we were I was adamant I was like oh, I'm gonna have to get new shoes I can't cause I think we had like four or five nights or days left so it was like I'm just gonna have to get some new shoes so we went into this kind of little market store thingy and saw these and oh my god they're just like just a simple shoe that you could, I could wear with jeans a dress a pencil skirt like just anything they're a bit dirty at the moment but the only problem is that in heels I'm a size five and a half or maybe even a five I tried the five on um, and they were too small so I had to buy the six but obviously because I'm now like a five and a half, there's a gap, so I have to put like insoles in them. But they're still a tiny bit big, but oh well, I will work through it. And they were 20 euros. 20 euros. Like, that's that's just that's a bargain. That is a bargain. The next one is kind of like a makeup kind of thing, but it's not makeup, it is a fragrance. And I I only wear this um, perfume on very special occasions or like really special nights out. 
because it's so expensive and it is the number five Chanel and this is the older parfum one and I used to have a bottle but then I used to a little up because I okay I'm not gonna lie I used to wear it every day I was like it's a bit excessive but I um yeah I've used quite a lot it's just so nice very kind of sexy smell and I could definitely not do not a daytime Charlotte not a daytime Charlotte not a daytime fragrance Charlotte no 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 so I'm hopefully not going to use that as much as I used to that was I bought this not last time I did the holiday before that so that's lasting me over a, a little might be a bit more over a year maybe a bit more than over a year so I think that's quite good this is kind of like a, a hygiene item say. I don't I don't really it's, not, well, it's definitely not makeup at all definitely not but yeah it's kind of like a hygiene item and it is my razor and it's the Venus one that comes in like a little pod thing and it looks like that and it's so small like seriously that is honestly the best razor I have ever had like that it can last me a month and that that might sound a bit dirty but it's still sharp so I have no problem in using it obviously I do clean it because it's in the shower with me with my shower gel so you know but like I said um I used to get I don't know what brand it was I think it was still Venus but it was like the long stick one before it used to be the straight one so whenever you go like over you need to always get cuts and then I kind of I went on to the one that got the long stick one the one that got the long stick but it got like the bend of it on it so it could glide over your knees and your curves and stuff I saw um I, I don't know if he was a youtuber or probably to be honest all I do is watch youtube <laughs> um and that's all I think it was talk Becky talk I'm not sure but somebody was talking about this and I thought I might go and see if it's on offer and it was the next thing is well the next things are clothing items I have had to put these on a coat hanger because I have so many of them and I don't have that many coat hangers so they are all on one big coat hanger but they are bodies just these were a staple like it would always be a body short sandals a body shorts flip-flops and the majority of them I got from like either Pretty Little Thing, New Look, Misguided, Boohoo, Topshop because they're just good quality like the khaki one. Oh, and there's this one that I got from Zara oh my god that I don't know if I'm going to look at, look at that how cute that is but there's no poppers so you have to like push it up and if you need to you take everything off these aren't exactly clothes these are more accessories i'd kind of say and they are a pair of sunglasses i saw these on the asos website quite a while ago and i was like just wait until they're on the sale why are you still on the sale because i'm not gonna lie they are personally for me they are a bit expensive for sunglasses but when it got kind of near the time i was like you're just gonna have to buy them because they will sell out because they are so gorgeous Key or Quay, I know everybody's raving about them at the moment. Uh, sunglasses in, I don't know what thing they're in. I feel very retro kind of in them. I like them. They are no size pink mirror, every little thing. I think that's the style of them but they're like oh, so they're actually really comfortable but they're like a a rose goldy kind of one and they're just so good key k quay mm. the next one is one that i wore every time uh every time stop messing with your hair yeah whenever i exercised i always wore these because they are so so comfortable 
and it doesn't really matter if you've got hairy legs because they almost go down to your ankles but only show a little bit of, of your leg and they are the Victoria Secret Gym kind of leggings they have that kind of they have a thick band and then they have the little dog at the bottom of the leg but they are three quarter so like I said it doesn't really matter if you can shake your legs just wear socks and pull them up but they are called pink yoga they're for yoga I don't use them for yoga I don't really like yoga to be honest I'm more of a action <sighs> um but yeah really really comfortable and because you can pull them up they stop the chafing so that, that that's a bonus that is oh. and i normally wear this with a black vest top or a grey vest top no body no not bodies aren't really for like not working out for me but yeah super super comfortable and stretchy and i love them but i'm kind of losing a bit of weight so i might have to get the next size down so there's that and the last one is another pair of clothing and I was quite hesitant to buy these. It, well, the only reason why I bought them probably the only reason why I bought them was because they were in the sale. And they're from Miss Selfridge. Now Miss Selfridge stuff's normally a bit snug on me. Because I'm I'm petite but I'm a chunky petite. So I was a bit kind of uh, but I thought, no, if they don't fit you, then you could just work it to them. They will fit you. And they do look a bit kind of like a, a hot panty style, but I can assure you, no ass was shown. I, no, 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 no. They are like little rolled up, just plain ones. And, oh my god, they are so comfy. And they have a little tiny bit of a stretch in them, so it's fine. But, the most importantly, of this colour they like literally go with every everybody I had every pair of shoes I had just they I, li I probably wore these like 70 or 80 percent of the time on holiday when I wasn't wearing those leggings so they needed they needed a wash when I got home but yeah super super comfortable and cheap so that is I hope you have a beautiful day, whatever you are doing, day, night, morning, I hope it's a good one. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.